Hi, Valerie Tom here from You Define Destiny. I'm back again. This is video two in a five part series. Today we're going to talk about vision boards. So if you haven't watched video one, go back and check it out. If you have and you've got your vision written down in your three to five areas that are important to you, we're going to work on visualizing them on our vision board. So here's my vision board. I chose to just cut pictures, cut and paste pictures online um, and then print it out. These are pictures that are personal to me. Different people do different things on their vision board. It's totally up to you. If you want to cut and paste articles um, or cut and paste things from magazines, you can do that. If you want to print out pictures of yourself, however you want to do it, you want to make it your own. This is your vision board. This is going to anchor you towards that incredible video, <laughs> incredible video, incredible vision that we worked on in the last video. So really make sure that it properly represents what you want and what's important to you. And this can change. This can be a living, breathing document. You can change it however you need to, however often you need to. As you check things off, you can take them off. As new things become important to you, you can add them on. So I'm just going to talk about my vision board for a few minutes and the different pictures that are on here and why they're on here. As I'm doing that, definitely start to compile your vision board. You're not going to finish it by the end of this five minutes, but you can at least get it started and when we're done, finish it up and have an amazing board to take a look at. Again, no matter how big you want it, how small you want it, whatever works for you. This goes in the front of my notebook that I usually take with me. I also have a printout of it on my desk. Um, I haven't yet, but I think I'm going to turn it, uh, make the pictures go long ways and add it to my screensaver on my phone or my wallpaper, one or the other, so that way it's always in front of me, but you want to make sure you're looking at it every day. We'll also talk about visualizing your vision and focusing on um, the pictures on your vision board when we get into a future video on daily method of operation. Okay, so let me just go through some of my pictures. The first two are of Hawaii. I went to Hawaii on my honeymoon, and my husband and I were trying to get back there for our 10-year anniversary. Didn't happen, so we're hoping to get back to do, uh, Hawaii for our 20-year anniversary, which is in um, 2021, so really not that far away. Uh, so those pictures represent Hawaii. Then the next one is Venice. I've been to Italy before, but not to Venice, so I definitely want to check that out. The next one after that is um, is Alaska. I'm excited to uh, go check out Alaska. That's always been on my bucket list. The next one is a picture of the U.S. map. I want to go cross country again. I've done it once um, with my sister-in-law. This time I want to do it with my daughter and my husband, rent an RV, and uh, have an amazing time with it. This is a picture of Patrick Swayze and Erin Gray. Uh, seen from Dirty Dancing when he's holding her up over her head. He is holding her up over his head. That represents balance for me. This is a picture of Yoda with a quote. Uh, Yoda from Star Wars, those that don't know. Um, with a quote that says, do or do not, there is no try. I use try and maybe far too much. Not anymore. Those words are being removed from my vocabulary. I will, I am. Um, those positive things, not the cop-out excuses. There's a couple of quotes that I have on here. Let me just read them real quick. Inner peace begins the moment you choose not to allow another person or event to control your emotions. And the next one is, do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. Uh, I run my dad's crane business, so that's a picture of his crane and then one that we're going to buy in the future. Uh, this is a picture of me and my dad for my high school prom. That was when I was at my goal weight that I'm working on. A tattoo that my dad had, and I have a similar one that says Wes or Tough. That was his, my maiden name is Wes. That was his uh, slogan, and that always helped me dig down deep. It's not about a physical toughness. It's about a mental toughness. This one says financial freedom. A uh, picture of Australia. I'd like to get back there. I did an exchange program my freshman year in high school, so always wanted to get back there. The porch at the house I'm going to have on the lake, a picture of my husband and I in Disney, just reminding me to be happy and smiling, um, and then just a couple other funny pictures that make me laugh and remind me of certain things that I'm working towards. So that's your vision board. That's my vision board. Yours needs to remind you of where you're going. Look forward to seeing you on, vision, on video three.